The newly added side quest in Dragon Quest XI-S involves the adorable creatures known as the Tockles. These spirits watch over time, but only you as the Luminary can actually see them. And you'll meet one in particular before you enter the Galopolis region. His name is Ickle, and he's in a pickle. He needs you to come to the Tockles village of Tickington, where ten special tomes have been corrupted by an unknown force. The only way to fix them is by finding special passwords so the hero can dive into these books and set right the events of the past. And it just so happens that the Tockles are out there looking for the passwords as we speak. So it's up to you to find the Tockles, get the passwords, and solve the problems of the ten previous Dragon Quest games. And we're here to help you find them all. Now, we should note that this quest is something that takes place over the course of the entire game. We're going to do our best to keep the spoilers light, but locations and later events are inevitably going to be shown. We'll be keeping to the order of the passwords listed in the game, that way if you missed one, you can search for the exact toggle you need. So let's get started. It's impossible to miss the first password as Mayor Stickle provides it himself, allowing access to Gallenholm in the Altar of Origins. The first Tockle you'll meet is near the southern campsite in the Galopolis region, who gives the password for Munahan in the Altar of the Legendary Line. The next Tockle is found in Laguna di Gondolia, in the small cave that separates the two swampy portions of the region. Talk to it to receive the password for the Observatory in the Altar of the Starry Skies. The third Tockle is in the Zwardrust region, specifically within the Warrior's Rest Inn. The little guy provides the password for Erdrich's future home within the Altar of Salvation. Then there's the fourth Tockle, which is found in the Dundrazil region. Look inside a ruined building just north of the bridge to Dundrazil Castle to find the Tockle. It will give the password for the Rainbow Mines in the Altar of the Forgotten Past. You'll find the fifth Tockle in Lonolulu. It's just south of the church on the north end of the village. Talk to it to receive the password for Chateau Felix in the Altar of the Cursed King. Once you complete the quest for Chateau Felix, you will receive a password for Chateau Felix at dusk. However, in order to complete that side quest, you will need to do a few other things first. Namely, you need to find the 10th Tockle for Briscoletti's Mansion, which in turn requires the 8th Tockle for All Trades Abbey. Once those are done, the initial Chateau Felix quest can be completed. The 6th Tockle is found in the Mini Metal Academy. Look to the left of the main office on the first floor to find it, and receive the password for the Neverglade in the Altar of the Heavenly Bride. And then we have the 7th Tockle, which is located in the Queen's Bedchamber in Sniffelheim Castle. It will hand over the password for the Room of Revival in the Altar of the Undeciphered. Next up is the 8th Tockle, which is found in the Royal Library in the Snarefelt. As you climb the stairs to the second floor, you should spot it. Talking to the Tockle will reward you with the password for All Trades Abbey in the Altar of Reverie. The 9th Tockle is found in Arborea on the east side of the town in the lower section. It will give the password for the Imperial Pantry of Parthenia in the Altar of the Chosen. This is also the last Tockle before a major event occurs that pretty much makes every scene after this a pretty big spoiler, so we just wanted to give a warning before continuing on. The tenth Tockle can be found in the Octagonia Casino. Just look for it near the slot machines and the exchange counter. It will hand over the password for Briscoletti's Mansion in the Altar of the Heavenly Bride. The eleventh Tockle is in the Sniffelheim region, specifically the northern end of the Viking Hideout. You'll need to travel past Eric and Mia's home. At the top of the ridge, near the western wall, is where the Tockle awaits. It will then give you the password for Rose's room in the Altar of the Chosen. To find the twelfth Tockle, sail to Insula Algerum, which is the island southeast of Sniffelheim. You'll need to use a flying monster to access the land behind the mountain where the Tockle awaits. It'll hand over the password for the Ruby Path of Doom in the Altar of the Starry Skies. The thirteenth Tockle is found in Luminary's Landing once the Arboreans have opened the way to it. Talk to the Tockle to receive the password for the Romer Encampment in the Altar of the Forgotten Past. We should also note that completing the quest for the Romer Encampment will reward you with a password that unlocks the Romer Encampment at night. Next is the fourteenth Tockle, which is found in the Battleground. 
You must make your way through it until you reach the 8th floor on the opposite side of the crumbling wall next to a chest. This toggle gives you the password for Damdara in the Altar of Origins. The 15th toggle is in Havens Above on the east side of the main floating island. It will provide the password for the Pillar of Pegasus in the Altar of Reverie. Then there's the 16th toggle which is found in the Zwardrust Railway Station. You'll see it near the small waterfall. It hands over the password for the Quester's Rest in the Altar of the Starry Skies. The 17th Takul is found on Mount Huji in Atsuo and Atsuko's hideout, so you may still need to progress the story of Hato before you can access it. The Takul hands over the password for Kanak Castle in the Altar of the Legendary Line. Once you gain access to the Crucible on Mount Huji, you'll find the 18th Takul near the entrance. Speak to it to receive the password for Baramosa's Castle in the Altar of Salvation. It's worth noting that once you complete the quest in Baramos' castle, you'll be rewarded with the password for later on in the same castle. You'll need to have obtained the ultimate key in the post-game story in order to find the 19th Takul, which is located in Puerto Valor. Go to the south end of the city near the beach and go to the second floor of the rich man's house to find the gate. On the other side, the Takul is waiting. It will give you the password for Weaver's Peak in the Altar of Reverie. The 20th Takul is found within the First Forest Railway Station and is located near the end of the path on a log. Speaking with it will reward you with the password for the Hidden Valley in the Altar of the Chosen. To find the 21st Takul, you'll need to rebuild Cobblestone, which is a bit of a process. Talk to Gemma to learn about the people she'll need to complete the restoration. Once you find all four, the village will be back to its old self. Go to the mayor's house and you'll find the Takul on one of the beds. It will then give you the password for Trodane Castle in the Altar of the Cursed King. The 22nd Takul also requires the ultimate key and is found in Gondolia. Use the key on the gate on the eastern side and cross the small bridge to find the Takul who hands over the password for Tenton in the Altar of the Undeciphered. The 23rd Takul is found in the Cryptic Crypt. To reach it, you'll need the ultimate key. It's located within the far right cell at the end of the dungeon. There it will tell you the password for Willbrook in the Altar of the Heavenly Bride. The 24th Takul is located on Trial Isle at the northwest corner outside the main building. Talk to it on its stump to learn the password for Tantagel Castle in the Altar of Origins. The final Takul can be found in the last of Drustin's Trials, the Luminary Trial, which is called the Citadel of Spite. Head for the double staircase leading down to the first floor to find it. Then it will provide the password for Renderak in the Altar of the Legendary Line. And that's all of the Takul locations in Dragon Quest XI-S. You'll definitely want to complete all of the quests found within the different tomes though. Every one of them is possible to finish before the end of the post-game story, except for Tantagel Castle. Once you do, simply return to Tickington to receive the item for that quest. And once all the quests are finished, a new stairway will appear leading to one final set of Tickington challenges. Complete those, and you'll unlock a special boss that appears in the skies above Airdria. It's certainly a game-long quest, but one I feel is worth doing. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to Game Explained for more on Dragon Quest and other things gaming.